So welcome to Techno Dad Life, where we build, learn, and create as a community. And so today is a much requested video. So I have a video about uh, Windows simple file sharing, but Windows has changed a little bit. There's just a new update came out. And then also uh, Linux has changed a little bit. So we need to sort of adjust things just slightly for that too. And so what we're gonna be doing today is Windows, Linux, or uh, open media file sharing and we're gonna do three different things today basically so part one we're gonna do simple file sharing so basically the folder is all open on the network number two we're gonna do a private folder so you can just log in from any computer and access it and then when you go away it's not there anymore or you can just access it on that computer and then the third part today is we are going to show you how to fix common problems. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. And if you like this video, make sure you like. And here we go now. And I would like to say a special thanks to my patrons who, without your support, this channel would not be possible. Thank you. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out the description below to see how you can become a supporter of Techno Dad Life. Okay, so what we're going to do is create a public folder first that everybody can access, and then we're going to create a private folder that only the people with the username and password can do. And then finally, we're gonna fix some problems. So first we wanna click on plugins and then type in reset perms. For me, I already have this installed, so it's green for you, this will not be green. And so what you need to do is put a check mark there and then install. Once that's done, we're going to go to our shared folders. You'll see now there's a reset perms button or a tab, which we'll use eventually. Next, we're gonna click add, and this is gonna be a public folder, so we'll just call it public. And we're gonna select a device, our hard drive, and we're going to change permissions to rewrite everyone. Then we're gonna click save. Next, we're going to go, we're going to scroll down to SMB SIFS and click on that. And first thing we need to enable it, so we click on it and click save. And then apply and yes. Then we're going to click on shares, click add share. We're going to select our folder, which is public. We're going to change pub public from no to guests allowed. And then we're going to enable permission inheritance and click save and apply and yes. So next we're gonna go to our Windows machine, go to our networks tab and here, it's already automatically shown up. If it doesn't, there'll be a little uh, thing here that's saying you need to enable sharing and just click on that to start out with. We're going to double click this and you can see there is our public folder. And just to make sure we're going to make a folder there and there you can see we, add, we can add it and we can delete it. And we'll just re-put it there so we have a reference for later. So the next thing that we're going to do is create a private folder. And for that, the first thing we need to do is create a user. And so we're gonna click add user. And so what this user is going to be is a user that we can log into from our Windows machine. And make sure you put a password. And then once we are done with that, so we're not gonna click save yet, we're gonna click on groups. And we're gonna scroll down to the S's and so here we're going to click on Samba Share. And then if you want this user to be able to use Shell in the Box or SSH, you can do that. And then also click sudo and then click save. Then apply and yes. 
Okay, then we're going to go to our shared folders and we're going to create a new folder. We're going to call that private. And we're going to select our drive. And so for this one, instead of uh, what we did before, everyone read write, we're going to click administrator read write and users read write and others no access. Then we're going to click save, apply, and yes. And then we're going to scroll down and go to SMB SIFS again. Go to shares and we're going to add a share. We're going to click on private and we're going to leave it as no guests or no public allowed. We're going to enable permission inheritance and then click save and apply and yes. Now we're going to go to our Windows Network folder, and there is our OMV Virtual again. We're going to click on that, and so now we have our private folder and our public folder. And so let's click on our private folder, see what happens. And so here we need to enter username and password, so let's do that. And so now we have a choice. So where it says remember my credentials. So if this is a machine that we use all the time, we can check mark this. And then it will automatically access this share all the time. If this is not a machine that we don't access all the time, then we want to just leave this blank and then it will not log in automatically next time. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to click OK. And here you can see, here I'll just show you the difference. There's our public, has the media in it. Our private one doesn't have anything in it, so we'll add a folder. And now you can see we have read-write access to both a private folder and a public folder on our system. And this is handy if, say, you have kids and you just want them accessing the movies, but not everything else, so you can do this for them. So let's take a look at a common problem. So say you try to log into your public server, your public folder, and it requires a password. And so what we can do is we can just click on this and then click ACLs. And here you can see for others, it has none applied, so it's like a private folder. And so you can do two things. So one is change it right here, but I find it's cleaner if you go over to Reset Permissions. And then first pick your drive or your folder. And then click on Everybody Read Write and also Clear ACLs. Reset Permissions. Reset. Save. And then go to your shared folders and if we look again so now that's set everybody read write and that will take care of the not being able to log in okay so for our next example for our next example we have two users and what we're going to do is delete one user and so if we go over to our share you can see our omv virtual we can log in and if we go to a credential manager, go on Windows credentials, you can, we can click on OMB virtual and see that we're signed in as Jeff. And so we're going to do two things here. So one is we're going to get out of there, go back and remove Jeff, and yes. So now the Jeff is not there. And then we're going to go back over here to OMB and remove Jeff here. And then apply and yes. And so now when we go back to OMB virtual, we can still log in. And that's because we need to reboot Windows at this point. So let's reboot Windows and we'll be right back. Okay, so we have rebooted Windows. We're going to go down to the search box here and type in Credential Manager. Click on that, and we're going to go to Windows Credentials. 
And you can see now there is no credential there for our server. So let's go back to our network and there's our OMV virtual. We'll double click on that. So that opens and then we go to our private folder. And so here you need, you see we need to log in again. So let's type in Bob and Bob's password. And then we're gonna click OK. And now we're logged into the private folder again. If you're having trouble logging into your private folder, that's how you log in by uh, eliminating the previous login with Windows Credential Manager and then re-logging in again. So that's it for today. Hope you found this helpful. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.